I'm going to run out of energy is what's going to happen. I can't even move now. There you go. Yep, they're both, they're both such great games. Uh! Oh. No, my wheel is sticking out into the road, so that was for real. What, Ryan? I, hang on, the tractor's super loud. I can't hear you. This has been the worst tow home I have ever experienced. Yeah, I can flip it. Yeah, so anyway, it definitely has its limitations. The screen is smaller. Um, and then, um, let's see, can't you? No, I can't drive the wagon home because I don't have the keys. I forgot to bring my toolkit. But you'd also have to walk back. I mean, I can't. I don't know. I mean, I don't know at this point. It, it might be stuck. I'll try to pull it over, but. It's not. There's a bunch of stuff new. There's a ton of new stuff, actually. Come on. Oh, he's got a caravan. And he ran somebody off the road. Typical. <laughs> Let's see. So, so anyway, I don't know. I like the, I, I like the switch. I love my switch light, actually. I really do. Um, but I think that there's things that you might like about the regular one better. I don't know. I have both. And I, I prefer the switch light, but I'm just going to drag it on its side then. Fine. Just drag on your side, you stupid wagon. I'm sorry. What, Ryan? Um, it just flipped. I guess it's not crashing in the back of my tractor anymore. Oh, because, yeah, I don't have the keys for it. I stole it. <laughs> Yeah, if it's your first one, get the normal switch. I agree with Ryan on that, but it is more comfortable to hold, um, and it's more flexible because you can plug it into your TV. But I personally don't ever play it. I, after having my switch for a year or, and such, I didn't. I found I never plugged it in, and so um, so I, I I figured, well, you know what? I'm just going to switch to the switch um, light, and I'm very happy with it. But I think most, a lot of people, if you ha don't have one or you, you know, it's just as good. You know, the, the regular Switch has got a little bit bigger screen. And yeah, it's the same battery life. Like, you don't get any benefits aside from its light. It's small and very portable. Uh, no, it's, after using it on an airplane, it's definitely different. I've used both of them on the airplane, and the Switch light's better, for sure for that kind of stuff. But, he's in the... Are you on your computer yet? Well, no, she's got a mechanical keyboard. <laughs> I, I love mechanical keyboards. I know, I, I, like the, I like the loudness. I grew up using a mechanical keyboard. I'm going to get pulled off the road again. Well, no, I, I can't. I don't want to get run over. Come on. Yeah, the screen size the screen size is larger on the, the regular switch too, so you got that to consider also. Yeah, for my bad eyesight it's it's hard to, to deal with, so Oh, that's right. You have the controller, too. She, she bought an external controller, so that does help. I think my... Because the... Oh, God. It catches up to me and then slams into me and sends me flying. And it gets, like, stuck. Spin tires is awesome. No, Mudrunner is better. Though. The, 
They have DLCs and stuff for Spin Riders now, too. Ah! No! Like new DLCs, there's a Chernobyl one. That... Yeah, there's American trucks. And no, it's, it's different. It handles differently, too. It's a little bit easier to play. Uh, Zelda. Hang on, let me make sure my stuff's still in my car. God dang it, would you stay behind me? Oh, I almost feel like it's better to pull it with the parking brake on. Oh, I'm, I, you guys are, I don't remember it ever being this hard to tow stuff. Yeah, my, my grocery bag better be in the yeah, it's okay. So. And now I can't freaking close the back door because it, I'm getting really frustrated. <laughs> Push the dang station wagon. Push it! He's getting tangled on the tires, and I can't push. Uh, there's two mu there's two DLCs for Mud Runner on the PC. Um, there's the American Wilds, and there's some free ones too. Um, God dang it! Yeah, the Switch Lite is two hundred, correct? And then the full Switch is like, f how much was it, honey? Two ninety nine. Yeah, it's 300. You're basically paying for the dock. It's the difference in the ability. Yep. Well, you have Mudrunner, you have Farm Sim, you have Fishing Baron C. Those are all on the Switch. Uh, Fire Emblem is supposed to be really, really good. Dragon Quest XI, a lot of a lot of Pokemon games. I know, this is the worst tow ever. I'm going to end up having to spend the night out here. Why can't I? Oh! I'm about to rage quit. <laughs> Push it up. Okay, honey. What? For I wish you could lift it up and put it in the trailer. Matt tried that once. Yeah. <laughs> All right, folks, so with that, we're going to take a, a couple-minute break here, so hang on one second. For those of you watching on YouTube, hold on. Super dangerous out here uh, to be driving at night with this tow, and I'm going to end up dying. So I'm going to take a break, <laughs> clear my head, oh, calm the frick down. <laughs> Ryan, could you close my door? He left. Shoot. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go to sleep. Good night. <laughs> Ay, 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 ay. I went to bed. Ow. Is your little nosy hurt? <laughs> we'll wake up refreshed. Try it again. We're going to try it all over again. This better be worth it, man. This has turned into, like, an adventure trek. It is not even, like, a easy tow home. You have turned this into, like, a nightmare tow from hell. <laughs> Two days on the road to get the... RKO Speedwagon back home. It is now Thursday. <laughs> this better be worth it. Come on, close the door. <laughs> Enter driving mode, and we're going to start the ignition. And I've started in low gear. I'm just trying, I'm trying to tow this stupid station wagon home, and I'm that's way too long of a rope. But I don't care anymore. What's going to happen is, because we're on the main road, it's going to swing out, and then I'm going to get clobbered by a bus or something. Do you need to call 44? 44. 44 trucking. Yeah, look at this. I think we're just going to have to watch our speed. I am going to have to shorten that rope. It is way too long. I can hear your Minecraft music. Can you turn that down, baby? I'm going to. Thanks. I detect a problem with my towing operation. <laughs> but you can't tow because you're silly. <laughs> if I swear, are you guys going to be mad?
Oh, <laughs> this game. It'll kill you every time. It'll kill you every time. I can't, I'm, so, I'm shocked that we have not died yet. I'm just in shock. <laughs> oh, God. Stupid car. <laughs> oh, for frig's sake! <laughs> Arthur, please don't swear. You're going to hurt my virgin ears. Your virgin ears? I won't swear. But I will be angry. Oh, god dang it! That stupid parking brake! <laughs> By the way, I do always, even in real life, I do that. I start the car. I can't even get in the tra- Get- <laughs> Oh, frick. Call 44 to help. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll pull forward just a little bit. There we go. And this has been the longest tow in history. It's taken like three days. <laughs> we will be playing Minecraft a little bit later tonight. Moni and I will. Uh, I have to make dinner and feed the dog and feed. Actually, did he eat? no, I got to feed the dog. Oh. And feed myself. <laughs> committed Harry Carey just jump out in front of the bus like we did that one time, remember? When I got stranded. We're almost to the back roads. I think the trick is we need to keep the car in like, or the tractor in second, or not get into full speed in three high. Because I think the issue is that we are just getting way ahead of the car. The, the car is moving too fast and then it gets all messed up. If we stay at a slower speed, we might be okay. So we're just going to run about this speed. Or not. The car's just going to... What's happening is it's pulling up next to me and then jamming my wheels. So I keep having to stop because it gets... I've, I've never had it outpace the car before, or the tractor before. This is different than what it used to do. I think what's happening is there's something with the physics that are different, and the truck, the car's getting stuck on the wheels. No, no problems, none of that. April 12th, <laughs> maybe later. Don't wait too long, though. <laughs> Edit. Try pulling the parking brake on a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna do that. Can you do just a little bit of a parking brake? Like you don't have to have it all the way on. Because the issue is it's rolling like that. It's it's catching up to me and it's rolling too freeway. Tow it from the front. <laughs> Run the tractor in reverse. All right, hold on. We'll try that. Hold on. <sighs> it's it's the physics. <laughs> I used to be able to do this every single time. Well, the physics have probably gotten a little bit better, actually, and that's the issue is they've changed it. Not necessarily. There we go. That's about halfway. So we'll do that. Give us, give us, give us, our, give ourselves a little bit of resistance, so that it doesn't want to swing out ahead of us. Tow the car. It doesn't matter if it's front or back. Um, unfortunately, it's the same either way. It keeps. It was doing this the whole time. I had it forward and backwards, so. <laughs> it's not my driving skills. It's my towing skills. Okay. Parking brake. First gear low. What's up, Snoopy Dog? Okay. Okay. That 
that's better. Can I reach the door? I can't reach my door, but whatever. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to get out of three low, but... That's awesome, Snoop Dogg. Yes, Hillbilly on TV was on last night and he gifted a bunch of subs. Okay, this is going smoother. Good idea, Bin Pin. Good idea. I forgot that you can put that on in, in little bits. What's up, baby? And the drunk has crashed. There he is. Or that dude, whatever he is. The drunk driver. <laughs> Snoop Dogg needs a guy named Hillbilly TV. <laughs> that sounded wrong. You bet you need to think of that. Okay, so now it's smooth towing. There you go, Bin Pin. That worked. Good job. I probably could have figured that one out myself, but I didn't, so. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Install. <laughs> what FS is it? This is FS 2020. I know, I know, I rock. <laughs> yeah, in real life, that would kill the brakes for sure. But we're not in real life, thankfully, so we are frying the brakes anyway. Yeah, you probably could put a little teeny bit of brake on if you need the car to, but usually in real life they, you know, they have the, the car, uh, the wheels that are parking brake are up off the ground, so they lift the front to steer with the tow truck, so. Well, that sucks. What's the matter, honey? I thought I had more iron. <clears throat> He knows. He was just kidding. <laughs> yes, the front loader does work, but unfortunately, it the wagon will go flying off if I try to pull it with the front or lift it with the front loader. Sometimes I'm able to get it to lift, and I tried to put it in the wagon one time, like in my trailer, but that didn't work. So. Oh, come on. Don't stall. Hi, Gromit. Did you go poopy downstairs? Right. In real life, when you tell you have someone with you to steer and brake, yeah. True that. Can the folks go higher? Yes, they can. Do 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 do. Are you laughing at my singing, dear? No. Gromit the Comet. Gromit the Vomit Comet. So we will arrive home today. It took us two days to get it, but there we go. <laughs> no, but we can mess with that guy's car, I guess. Change the limit of the height, did they? Oh, yeah, it doesn't go as high. Yep. You forgot all your game cases. Oops. <laughs> do you have any games? See, yeah, now I do all, with my Switch, I do all uh, downloadable games. I bought a 256 gigabyte card. <laughs> so I just have everything downloaded on the Switch, except for Zelda. Zelda, I, when I first when it first came out, I bought Zelda. VH, thank you for the cheer. I appreciate it. Well, slow but steady gets the job done, right? So we're making it on our way home. We're not going too slow. We are definitely burning the crap out of gas, but whatever. We got a full tank, so. <laughs> Ooh, 
Come on, babe. Uh, well, when I get it up onto YouTube, it'll be four half an hour segments approximately. I think three, three or four segments. Sometimes I make them three forty fives or something like that, like a rough, roughly three forty five minutes. But yeah. uh, usual. Now there are fines in the, around here. There's a car down there. I can't remember where the other two are, but you can drag them to Flataris and uh, make some money that way. So we may do that in the near future. I actually need to do some video editing. I got a bunch of videos that need to be edited and uploaded to YouTube. I just don't like the cartridges because they're so small that I'm, I I personally will lose them. I'm terrible at keeping small stuff like that and losing it. Yep. Especially with the kids. Me. Huh? You almost lost me. You put me down. <laughs> I didn't put you down. You did. And then you lost me. Oh, thanks. So, yeah, I like the downloadable games because then I don't, if I forget them, I don't have to. I mean, I'm terrible. Like I said, I lose things all the time. Get in the hole. Toad in the hole? What was Toad in the hole again? Is it mashed potatoes and sausage? No. What was it again? It's my new business. You remember when you came back. It's the second, Snoop Dogg. Cattle and crops is a long way from being done. The thing with cattle and crops is when it came out, it was a Farm Sim 17 possible killer. Better graphics, different graphics, but they took so long developing it, and it, it's, you know it's a, it's a Kickstarter, so it takes you know those always take a long time to develop. That Farm Sim 19 came out, and Farm Sim 19 eclipsed it in almost every way. So, except for the one thing that they're working on is deformable terrain, which they still don't even have in the game yet. They keep talking about like. Oh, it's going to have deformable terrain, and then it kind of, sort of does, but it's the same as Farm Sim 19. Right now, it's like a texture. You do get bogged in the mud a little bit, but... Um, uh, do you get bogged in the mud a lot now? Does it? Have they changed it a little bit? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's worth looking at, and I'll probably take a look at it again. It's been several months since I've played it, but... It's, oh, my God! No! It's not terrible, but it's not great. Oh my god, I'm getting shot by a scarecrow. Scarecrow shots. And I just... Ah! Moni died. So, it's an interesting game, like an interesting concept. <laughs> that was my cause of death. The cause of death. Wow, we made it across just in time, huh? Yeah, I do have some YouTube videos on it. Um, like I said, it's okay. It's all right. Oh, all my stuff disappeared. Come on. So, do you have any games on it? Hey, I forgot to get stuff for Granny. Oops. Hi, Granny. That's Granny's house. Yeah, FS20 on... Yeah, that was... I think I steered people clear of that with my review. Uh, I was like, if it's going to be like the mobile game, it's not worth doing. And sure enough, that's what it turned out to be like. So yeah. Unfortunately, it's not worth it, so... No. That, nope. It is, it's uh, it's the mobile version for the Switch. So it's missing... Everything. Everything. <laughs> it's missing a lot, yeah. It, uh, I, I guess, I haven't talked to them in a long time, Pirate Monkey, but... Um, 
You know, I probably should see how they're doing. Come on. I was like, Stara? Stara who? <laughs> no. I, I should probably contact them and see how they're doing. Now that I've got time. The guys, Daniel is super nice, the marketing director. But. <laughs> Yeah, so don't get, I would say FS20 is a steer clear yeah, on the Switch. I would not get it. Yeah, it's not. I'm a huge Farm Sim fan, fanatic, and I like pretty much everything they do except for that. I was really disappointed. They charged, if it would have been five bucks on the Switch, it would yeah. definitely be worth it. But they're charging full price for it, and it's not worth it. So... Cattle and Crops has some cool stuff, like um, a calendar year. Uh, the graphics aren't as good. They're close, but they're not as good. You can actually crash cars off the road in that one. <laughs> That's what you're looking for. Um, and that, you said I'm scared. And then, um, I'm trying to what else is good about it. Nothing. I don't know. I'm just... It's got, each cattle has a name. That's kind of cool. Like, you have to really, you know, the cattle are important in the game hierarchy. Um, what else is there that's good about it? It's different. But, yeah, it's, it's way, way far away from being done. It's not even close to being done yet. So, we'll see what it is when it's done. If it ever gets if, done. If it ever gets done. Like I said, the, unfortunately, the graphics engine is not as good as Farm Sim 19's graphics engine. So already they're behind the eight ball. Because graphics on FS19 are not even that great. So <laughs> they're good, but they're not, you know. Uh, yeah, the, fi the field work is done well. It is, for sure. I agree with that. And like I said, I like the count. The cattle management is cool. Like, it's better. But the game itself is still a long way from being done. So right, it's but the problem is, you know, it came out when FS17 was still out. Right. So it made FS17 look, like, really bad. Yeah, it made FS17 look bad. But... We're now in 19, and the game's not anywhere near finished. And yeah. you know, 21 should have been coming out this year. Obviously, that got delayed because of the new consoles. Right. Now, I'm not making excuses, Snoop Dogg, but I will say this: people are so used to thinking that games take I no time at all to develop. And you got to remember, when you get a game, especially big games like Grand Theft Auto, the reason why they're so few and far between. It, is because it takes the developers years to develop those kind of games. So, you know, Farm Sim is actually kind of surprising that they put out as many versions as they do because that's actually a really, what do I want to say? It's it's a... Yeah, but that's why their versions aren't that polished after. Right, that's why there's not huge leaps between versions because they're doing it every two years. But, like, for most people don't understand, like, a game like Grand Theft Auto or something like that takes, like, eight years to develop. I don't think people realize that there's all this work going on right now on the next Grand Theft Auto and has been since Grand Theft Auto what is it, 5 came five. out? So, I mean, how many years ago was that? 5 years? 6 years ago? Long yeah, so I mean, I'm, I, you know, they've been working on that for a long time. So what I'm saying is it, for a game like Count Crops, which is a pretty, you know, intensive development, and they're coming from nothing um, and trying to develop this new, ga new farming game, um, there's going to be years of development. Same thing with Star Citizen. People get mad because, oh my gosh, it's been two years. It's like, well, that's actually not bad. For what they're trying to do, it's probably going to take them eight years to do it or longer. So it takes a, it takes a long time to create a game with that much. But Right. And so Cattle and Crops doesn't have the size programming crew and stuff. They're just, <laughs> I can't. Okay. Oh, there you go. It was open the whole time, and I could, it wouldn't swing shut. So there you go. Is that better, King Steamy? 
Me too. I wanted to shut it, but I couldn't reach it. Now it's now that it's swung closed, I can get it. So hopefully you feel better now. Wow, what a journey. That has been a two-day two in-game, like two-hour journey. Yeah, I agree with you there, Snoop Doggy. Though, I think they need one more graphic iteration update. <laughs> Though it's pretty good now. Hey, what's up, X-Race Worker? So we're almost home after a very long trip around the map. Once again, that took us two days to get this car home, but we are almost home now, thankfully. And the fatigue is level, level is pretty low, so um, in the next episode, we should be able to get some work done on the car. But I do have to go after this, because it's time for me to make dinner. Right? I'm sure everyone's going to be downstairs, so. Yeah, everybody wants a good piece of big pie here. <laughs> Oh, you can die from thirst. You can die from hunger. You can die from stress. You're in fatigue, not from dirtiness. Dirtiness just makes you smell bad, but you don't die from it. Doo, 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 doo. Hey, we're coming around the final bend here, thank goodness. But yeah, you definitely can die from thirst. So we had to put the parking brake on to get the... But I think that was a much smoother trip today, having that parking brake on a little bit. Not the greatest way to do it, but. <laughs> well, goalie, I probably will edit this down a bit because this is quite, there's quite a lot of driving going on. But then again, people like to watch the conversation, so. Yeah, you can't die for money either. That's right, Jeremy. The more you have, the better. The higher that number, the better. There's my house. But yeah, you can die from no money because then you starve to death. Which is one of the reasons why we need this wagon so we can deliver stuff quickly. Polybridge, that's a great game. Polybridge is a wonderful game. Wonderful. Okay, so back in the low gear. Come on, swing it around. Oh man, what a trip. Wow. Man, that was intense. <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm sorry that took so long. Wow. That was just intense. Got to love this game. It is just crazy. The The randomness that happens in this game is what makes it so great. Um, so we got some beer for the garage. Uh, and for what? Actually, I'm going to leave that in here because we don't. It's mostly just to save our butts if we're out and we get thirsty. Uh, this is the juice that we have to drink. We can't really drink this for thirst. Unfortunately, the juice does not... It's You need the containers to sell to the drunk guy, but the juice does not um, help you. And if we drive this car, we got to be real careful because you will die if you crash. There's no seatbelts in the RKO Speedwagon. So... All right. We've made it home. Hooray. <sighs> okay, so let's get some water because obviously thirst is high on the list. And then we're hungry, so let's go get something to eat. Much better. And we're still thirsty. And we got to pee and shower. I'm going to throw this in the garbage can. The Rusco, yeah. The REO Speedwagon. Is it just concentrate? Wait, so can, what do you do with it? Can I put it into... I thought it was juice from concentrate, not juice... Let's read it. Hang on. This is nothing. There's nothing on the label. <laughs> Let's see. I don't think... I, th I thought this was juice from concentrate. Oh, it doesn't say. It just says juice. Maybe it is concentrate. I don't know. All right, so let's take a bath.
<laughs> Take care of the three, the three needs. In the store, it said juice concentrate. Okay, well, maybe you have to mix it in the, the bucket with water or something and drink it. I don't, it's weird. Because that's what, <laughs> that is what I do. I do chug the juice concentrate, so that must be what the problem is. <laughs> and we are done smoking. <laughs> All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you've had fun tonight. I definitely have. I'm, uh, that was awesome. Uh, so tomorrow we will hopefully be doing, I don't, I'm not sure exactly how the schedule is going to go, but we're going to try to do some Star Citizen in the early afternoon. Um, and then again, we will be streaming uh, tomorrow night. Uh, we'll be Farm Sim multiplayer. But uh, Moni and I are going to do some Minecraft a little bit later tonight, maybe in an hour or so once I have dinner. So we will be back on, uh, so be sure if you're a late-nighter, uh, you get to check us out, and we'll be doing some Minecraft fun. So have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help, and uh, I'm so glad you guys got to watch this and have fun with us. It was a very nice night. See you guys a little bit later. Bye. <laughs>